Hi, Sagafi Liberty Home Mortgage. And you know what I'm talking about today? This is Sales 101. Today's topic on sales is have the conversation before the conversation, okay? That's the topic today. If you are a loan officer or a real estate agent or you sell pharmaceutical devices or any type of sales, you need to take notes, okay? So this is what I mean to all salespeople out there when I say have the conversation before the conversation. Before you speak to anybody, anybody, new customers, new clients, current customers, current clients, trying to get business, do business with, one you're currently doing business for, one you did business with, or someone who's not necessarily anything, it's just somebody you're talking to, okay? This is what I mean by have the conversation before the conversation, especially the loan officers out there, I'm talking about this stuff, okay? Write this down. There's three things that are at the core foundation of this topic. Number one is, what do you know before you go into the conversation? Number two, what do you hear when you're having the conversation? What's in the background? Where is the person at? What do you hear, okay? In the back background, not the person themselves. Number three, what is the person saying, okay? What are they saying? Now, the difference between me today, I've done mortgages for 23 years, okay? When I talk to a customer today and they say we, as soon as they say the word we to me, I'm sitting here saying, okay, there's two people on my loan. There might be four, I have a loan right now, I'm doing with four people on the loan, okay? As soon as they say we, there's multiple people I'm dealing with. Since I'm talking to this one person, that means there's another person out there that I have to deal with. I might sell this person, but if there's a we involved, there's another person out there who's helping with the decision-making process, guess what? The deal ain't sold yet. 23 years ago when I started this job, when I started talking to people, I had a loan application in front of me, and I would say, okay, what's your name? Write down their name. What's your home address? What's your social security number? What's your date of birth? Where do you work? What's this? What? I had the list of questions, okay? I wouldn't pick up on those small, subtle things that the customer verbally was saying to me that 23 years later today, I pick up on it in two seconds, okay? Um, here's another example. You're talking to, I'm getting ready to make a call to a customer, and of course, right now it is, uh, late December of 2022 when I'm doing this talk. So as much as I hate to say this right now, so I'm a diehard Ohio State football fan, okay? I can't believe I'm gonna put this on video and it's gonna be memorialized for the rest of my life, okay? We're, Ohio State's playing Georgia in the BCS playoffs or the college football playoffs this, uh, this Friday, Saturday, it's New Year's Eve or whatever in God's name it is, okay? I'm a diehard Ohio State football fan. I'll give you an example. If I'm talking to somebody in Columbus, Ohio, okay, so going into the conversation, I know this person is in Columbus, Ohio. With a high probability, if you live in Columbus, Ohio, there's a little saying that you know. It goes something like this, go Bucks, okay? It's what they say. Here's one for you. I went to Oklahoma State University. Go to Stillwater, Oklahoma, they'll say cowboy up. Go to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Go to the University of Alabama. Roll Tide. So when you're going into the conversation, you know stuff before you even have the conversation. Where does the person live? Where are they from? Where do they do business at? You know that, okay? That's what you know before going into the conversation. When you enter the conversation, I'll give you an example, especially over the phone. If I'm talking to somebody on the phone and I can hear they're driving, let me tell you somebody about let me tell you something about somebody who's driving a car while they're having a business conversation, okay? You're in your car driving, suddenly your attorney calls you on a legal matter that you're being sued over or God knows whatever it's for. Let me tell you something. Your heart rate's pumping faster. Your anxiety is up. You're nervous. You're driving down the road thinking, "Oh my god, I've got to write this stuff down and I'm driving in my car." Okay? You're thinking, "I'm not going to remember any of this stuff." That's what's going through your body. So as the person, as the salesperson entering that conversation, when, I, when, I, when they pick up the phone and I could hear they're in the car, you know what the first thing I say is? The first thing is, hey, it sounds like you're driving. Let me tell you this, everything we go over, number one, you do not have to write down. Number two, we will go over it later. Number three, I just want you to hear this so you hear it this way when we go over it later. This is what you you know, you remember this stuff, okay? So again, 
It's what's in the background that I could hear with my ears, okay? Number one, it's there's three points in time. Have the conversation before the conversation. I, I look at who I'm calling, who I'm talking to. I don't care if you're doing in-person meetings. If I'm doing an in-person meeting, I know who I'm meeting with. With social media today, you could look up anybody and find out so much about them. Where are they from? What's their family structure like? Do they have children? Do they have grandchildren? Where do they go to college at? All of this stuff, okay? I know that before the conversation. When I enter the conversation, I'm listening in the background to see what's around them. If there's children screaming in the background, I've got news for you. I don't have their full time and attention, okay? If I could hear buses and trucks and things like that in the background or that they're driving, they're thinking about driving, not necessarily talking, okay? Lastly, the third thing I said was, what do they say, okay? You have to pay attention to every single word that they say, okay? We, us, in my past, I struggled before. I'm having a problem with this. I used to just call people and tell them what I can do for them. After I got more experience, I would say, what are you looking to do? I wanna know what they are looking to do. I wanna hear them talk. I wanna see what they want. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? Those are the three things, the three key parts to having the conversation before the conversation. If you're a salesperson, before you pick up that phone to dial that customer, you should be going through this conversation, every aspect of it. It doesn't take 10 minutes, it doesn't take 20 minutes. You don't have to write anything down. It's something that within a quarter of a second, your mind should go through. You should be ready for this. And this is how you're prepared so that every conversation is a great conversation because especially in sales, conversions are a big deal. You need to convert as many conversations as possible into business. But this is one of the ways you do it. And that's why this is sales 101. Write down those three things. What do you know before you talk to the person? What do you hear in the background while you're talking to the person? And your brain's got to be this fast, people. It's got to be picking up on stuff in seconds, not even seconds, in milliseconds. And lastly, what is the person saying? Combine those three things together. You've got to find what my one friend, uh, John DeJulius, talks about all the time, the four family, occupation, recreation, dreams. Find that common ground with that person as fast as possible. You'll build strong relationships, you'll do more business. Keep following these series, by the way. Subscribe to my YouTube page, there's a lot of different topics on it. I think you'll like a lot of what you see. Make sure you comment, share this on your page. If you have questions, feel free to call, comment, post, paste, whatever you wanna do. We'll be talking on the next one.